Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Wherever you're watching, whenever you're watching. Right now, we got some work to do. As you saw, we just assembled the beautiful rainicorns. Get off my face and focus on the yo-yo. Thank you. Anyways, the beautiful rainicorn, as we were saying. The rainicorn swirl specifically. Ooh, we gotta go ahead and test these out. Oh, oh. Because we're hoping to drop these Friday, and you're watching this vlog on Friday, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's that's our plan right now, depending on if they test out or not. Bearing seats felt like they could have been a little bit loose when I assembled these. They were still they were nice and tight for the customs. But for the rainicorn swirls that were done in a run, they were a little bit loose. So we'll see if that affects them or not. Yeah, it has a slight vibe. So, so far, so far we are not looking good. Well, maybe we're not having a drop Friday. We're over for two. Oh, for three. Okay, it's looking terrible. Um, that's 0 for 4. I'm going to go ahead and see if these customs, because I know the seats were tighter on these when they came back, which was how we would like them. Let's see if these look like they're going to be smooth or not. Yeah, see, this one is perfect. So that is very, very unfortunate that it looks like the rainicorns are going to be glitches. This thing looks great. This custom. So the worst has happened. This entire batch of the Rainicorn Warthogs are glitches. It just seems like such a waste. It just. It happens, I guess. It's frustrating, that's for sure. Um, there is one smooth one, but I'm gonna keep that one. I don't want to put one smooth one on the site and then have an entire, and then the rest all glitches. So I don't want to have have to worry about the cart messing up for that one A grade. You know what I mean, guys? You might, you might not. But anyways, that's unfortunate. We're still gonna try and get these out Friday as glitches. Um, they do have a slight vibe, but they are amazingly, amazingly beautiful. I think if you get one, you're still going to be really happy with it. Um, <clears throat> just unfortunate for me, not for you. For you, it's going to save you guys a good amount of change. For me, that's part of the reason why our prices are a little bit more is because when we do get glitches back, it really uh, messes up the dynamic of uh, the finance side of the yo-yo company. But that's enough about that for me. I'm going to go ahead and mark these as glitches and uh, see if we can't get some of them maybe boxed up. I know some of you might not understand why I mark my glitches that way. 
And the reason is, I don't really like the engravings for the most part on yo-yos. Um, so, that's, that's reason one. And reason two, I guess it's not really reason two. The reason I do do this, though. You can see it right there. We'll do it, put it right at the top. The little mark right there, that shows it's a glitch. Um, it doesn't affect the yo-yo in any way. It's hiding under the bearing, but that's always going to be there so you know. And you have full transparency when you're buying a G-squared. So that's kind of the idea. It's hidden under there so you can't see it, but you do know that it is there for your safety as buying a secondhand G2 if it is a glitch or not. So that's kind of why we do it. Somebody had said, why don't you just use Sharpie or something? And then the reason is, I'm sure you guys know, that you can just wipe the Sharpie off with alcohol or whatever, rubbing alcohol, like gasoline, something. You can get it off there and then sell it as a A grade. And that's the whole point of the marking is so that you can't resell the glitch as an A grade. Something I'm sure you guys are wondering is how much vibe is there? I get that question a lot is how much vibes on the glitches? And it's something you really cannot describe. I really probably can't even describe it in this video. But I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to notice it on the yo-yo in the video. You might be able to hear it. You can hear how it's, it's not like a perfect... It's going to shh. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, like, that was the sound of the B grade. And this is the sound of my A grade. See, it's just a constant sound, or there was that little bit of uh, vibe. But uh, as you can see, it's not very much, but it is there. So make sure to drop these down. I think they're going to be dropped down $40 from the retail price. Um, but that's where we're at. So. There you go. There you have it. That's the situation. Is if you are one of the ones that ordered the custom warthogs, I will probably be getting those to, to getting to those tomorrow. I've got to find my listing of whose they are. I want to test all of them, and then I've got to get good pictures. So maybe it's not tomorrow. I like to send everybody a good picture and let them know their balance and let them know when I can ship it and. All of that fun jazz. Next item on our list to take care of is your ever famous <laughs> oh, just focus your warthog pins and your string. What if I just shipped yo-yos without string? You guys mostly use your own personal preference string anyways, right? So what if I just skipped a step, didn't wind up the string and put in these bags? But there also is a lot of people that do message me and say, hey, what string was that? I really liked it. So can't do that. It'd be weird to shoot, ship a yo-yo without string. It's an idea. It's unique. Branding. I don't know about you guys, but I love the new packaging. The way you get the little pin under here, here you in the little display. I love the way it looks. When you open the box up then, let me show you here. It's just like, boom, it's just sitting in there looking at you. Perfect. Displaying your piece of functional art. 
your G squared yo-yo. Like, I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's perfect. Is this thing on? All right. <clears throat> Heading off to work. We got a Cavs game today. 9 p.m., that's really killer. Like, that's like my bedtime. Now, at 9 p.m., I'm usually almost done editing the vlog and ready to export it. So it's ready to go in the morning. But anyways, with the Cavs game, we're allowed to wear a t-shirt to work. That's weird. Dress pants, dress shoes, and a t-shirt. It's goofy. It is goofy. That's for sure. Um, I wanted to mention something to you guys. Just First, I'll have you guys a, a time for the release before this is over. Um, but by then, most of you will already have known the time from Instagram or the website in the news section. Well, how do you guys like the yo-yo section? It's pretty cool, right? Um, but... The best way to reach me, if you have questions you need answered... Email. 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 G squared yo-yos at gmail.com I'm getting a lot of messages on Reddit and Instagram and Facebook and that's fine I do my best to reply to them but sometimes I definitely do miss them um, just because there there is a, a volume of them and sometimes I'll read them and I won't get to reply and I'll mean to reply later and I just I forget and don't get to it so if you want to make sure you get a reply, send me an email, gsquaredyoyos at gmail.com. I'm going to go ahead and make a post on this as Reddit, on Reddit as well, because Reddit is the tougher one for me. I just use an app on my phone for Reddit. I'm never really on it via the computer. Um, so there's always a good chance that I don't see it. Well, no, I see it, but I don't know if it's a reply to a comment, if it's a message. And then if I, I see the little icon, let me know I have a message. It doesn't mean I have a chance to respond to you right then. So then maybe I'll forget later. But point is, email me if you have something you need answered. Did somebody come see you on lunch break to come mow? You got anything you want to say? No? <clears throat> All right, I'm going back to work. I'll see you afterwards, okay? Bye-bye. All right, home from work. I'm going to mow, then I've got softball. More importantly, we've got the Cavs game tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Get ready to start editing maybe before softball as well. But anyways, we need to pick a time for those Warthogs tomorrow. I feel like I'm rushing it but I still think that's okay. Maybe we should do Saturday. No, we'll do Friday. Ah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. But. <coughs> 8 p.m. Eastern, Friday, tomorrow. Today when you're watching this, the Warthogs, Rainicorn Squirrel, will be dropping. If you do have a custom Warthog that's with me, I'm going to be working on those this weekend, and I'll shoot you out your email with your remaining balance, good photos, hopefully, all that jazz. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Same place, same time.